You're listening to the Dungeons, Dragons, and Psychology Podcast. A barbarian is more than just an instrument of brute force. They are often forged in harsh environments and driven by a deep connection to their own intuition. They are capable of astounding feats of strength when the time is called for, but more importantly, they understand when to apply that strength. I'm Robert Walker, author of Session Zero, the DMG to writing great campaigns in any system, and this is my show where I teach collaborative storytellers how to have more immersive campaigns using psychology. And today we are talking about The Barbarian, how we channel our inner rage, in a good way, of course, as we explore the path of strength and intuition. Strength, for the barbarian, is the raw power that fuels their fury. It's their ability to push through physical challenge, endure hardship, and never give up. And the secondary ability of the barbarian is wisdom. Now, you might think that that sounds a little bit odd. Maybe constitution would be a little bit more applicable. Well, I can see the argument, but of course I wanted to have each class represent two unique blends of abilities. And the beautiful thing about the barbarian is their ability to understand when to apply their rage. They have to trust their intuition. They have to go with their gut and know when the right moment is at hand. Because at the end of their rage, they will be exhausted or fatigued. They have to know when is the appropriate time to embody their rageful ability to enact more strength, to put more pressure on the enemy, to become the most powerful version of themselves that they can. That is all based on an intuitive understanding of when such things should be applied. And in my mind, it is also why, when the barbarian is in their rage, their will save goes up. They have the ability to connect more with their instinct and their intuition and understand how to apply their strength. So let's talk about strength first. What are a few ways that we could engage the barbarian type of strength? Well, first and most obvious is to build physical prowess, engaging in activities that build muscle and endurance, for the barbarian does have both. Their musculature is not just one of a physique, it is also muscle endurance. They have fast movement, so they don't just use slow twitch muscle fibers, they also engage their fast twitch muscle fibers. So you would want to focus on things like weight training, body weight exercises. Uh, CrossFit could be a very barbarian style of workout. High intensity interval training. Strongman type strength training would be perfect for the barbarian. And when it comes to your barbarian strength training, you want to think of exercises that are going to allow you to train both maximal power, reaching into those deep wells of your strength for when you must apply the greatest amount of strength that you possibly could, and you want to focus on muscular endurance, continuing for a length of time doing a difficult activity over and over and over. Next, embrace physical challenges in the real world. Try stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing things like rock climbing, obstacle course training, or endurance events like uh, mud runs or marathons. Just test your limits and push yourself to do feats of strength that require you to both be competitive and push your body beyond what you thought capable. That is the essence of using your rage is to fuel your strength beyond what you thought was possible in your normal body. Of course, developing functional strength. Don't focus on just isolated bicep curls. Train for strength that translates into real-life situations. So exercises that mimic carrying heavy objects, climbing, pushing and pulling movements. Imagine carrying a wounded comrade or pushing through a dense forest. The barbarian has strength that is useful in all sorts of scenarios. They're the ones we often turn to to batter the door down or 
carry all of the loot that we found in the dungeon. They are sort of the pack horse in many situations. So learning things like heavy carries over a long distance of time, rucking would be an excellent way to develop functional strength. All that said, strength isn't everything you want to focus on. The barbarian also possesses that wisdom of intuition, your inner compass, your ability to navigate challenges with a clear mind and know when to apply that epic level of strength. So to cultivate your wisdom, you want to honor your intuition, pay attention to your gut feelings, learn to trust your instincts, and make decisions based on a combination of logic and intuition. But the barbarians' instincts are often honed by their connection to their environment. So listen to the whispers of what's around you and pay attention to what's happening to know when is the right time to use that epic strength. Embrace mindfulness. You can do this by practicing meditation or cultivating an inner calm focusing on emotional awareness. It will help you stay clear-headed in challenging situation, whether it's a raging monster or even a difficult conversation, and then also knowing when to apply that honed functional strength where it belongs and where it doesn't. Learn from your experience. Reflect on your past, both success and failures, and think about what you have learned. How can you use that knowledge to overcome future obstacles? A barbarian doesn't really dwell on their mistakes. It uses them to become more resourceful and understand when times were applicable to use their brute strength and when times were not. I think that's one thing we all learn when we play the barbarian is if, if we rage too early, we may not be as useful to the party later when we're fatigued. And if we rage too late, then we wasted the opportunity to get the most use out of that strength that our character has built. So think about that for your own life. When is the appropriate time to really fuel your inner rage? And when is the appropriate time to be calm and level-headed? Now, if we think about more than just the physical prowess and the intuition, the barbarian is sort of a way of life. They embrace self-reliance. They are independent and resourceful. They have a can-do attitude. They often learn to solve problems with whatever abilities that they have. Sometimes they may not have the logic or the reasoning or the understanding. They may not have the dexterity to dodge out of the way of traps, but the barbarian typically can stand and endure it. I mean, if you think of the movie The Gamers way back when, just sending the barbarian in to absorb the blows uh, when the rogue kept getting defeated by the trap. Like, sometimes there is... A lot to be said for just having the physical and mental ability to endure and be self-reliant. They also are often courageous and determined. They face challenges with unwavering courage. They don't usually back down from a fight, metaphorical or literal. And they have a relentless determination to overcome obstacles and help the party achieve their goals. Oftentimes, the barbarian is rooted in in the concept of a community or a society that has tradition. While they can be independent, they also usually value the traditions of their kind, their clan, and fiercely defend their communities. They connect with their heritage, and they stand strong for what they believe in and protect those who depend on them. And often they are very much in the moment. They don't dwell on the past or worry about the future, they focus on the present challenge, giving it everything they have, digging as deep as they must to be successful, and then learn from the past to plan for the future, but staying focused on the task at hand. Those are things that you can think about as you develop the barbarian way of life. So let's talk about a few resources that you could use, the books for our rule of three that might help you begin the journey of becoming a barbarian and leveling up. Now, remember, as you go along this process, you can download the character sheet and use it to decide on what skills you want to use to level up your strength and your intuition and follow along as you gain new ability points and levels. So that is available in the show notes uh, to download for free. Now, first, we have uh, focus on the intuition, and this book is called The Art of Intuition, Cultivating Your Inner Wisdom. This is by Sophie Burnham, and this book talks about learning to trust your intuition because it is often or 
even the author would argue, always right. So learning how to recognize the messages that you're receiving from your intuition and how to act on them properly. It helps you along by giving step-by-step -step instruction and guiding you to develop those intuitive powers within yourself. And I think this is an important step for the barbarian to understand when to listen to their wisdom and when to apply that barbarian rage and strength. Next, we have one of my absolute favorite books of all time. Um, it is Born to Run, A Hidden Tribe, Super Athletes, and the Greatest Race the World Has Never Seen by author Christopher McDougall. If you have never heard of this book and you have never read this book, I highly recommend you put it on your list. It is the perfect book for the barbarian. Now, I know running might sound more like constitution, but as we talked about, this is about that muscular endurance and What's really great about this book is it sort of focuses on a tribe that is living the barbarian lifestyle. And so it fits very cleanly into this class category. And beyond that, it is a phenomenal story that will teach you a ton about your body and shoes and what it means to be human and how we evolved. Uh, so definitely a must read uh, even if you're not leveling up as Barbarian, it's one of those I would consider a must-read. And finally, we have Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, The Simple Science of Building the Ultimate Male Body, or its companion book, Thinner, Linger, Stronger, The Simple Science of Building the Ultimate Female Body. Both books are by author Michael Matthews, and they are incredible. I would also consider these must-read books. Um, I have read both of them, um, and they both have excellent information in there that sort of contradicts the narrative of what it takes to lose body fat and get in shape. And it talks about the fitness myths and the mistakes that are out there and talks about how building muscle and building strength contributes to losing fat. It's very contradictory to the message that we are often told that the way to eliminate fat is to just go out and run or burn, do cardio and do all sorts of things that send the wrong signal to our bodies to develop in the proper way. And the barbarian way of building functional, usable strength is applicable to both man and woman. And the beautiful thing about it is it is also the best way to eliminate body fat, contrary to the message that we get. So I would highly suggest both of these books. The author does a fantastic way of describing it, and, and, and it gives you a very scientific look of the process of metabolism within the body so that you can really better understand the signals that you are sending to your body in order to build strength, build muscle, and burn body fat and really become sort of the ultimate barbarian physique that you would want to build as you level up in this class. You will find the links to those books in the show notes of this. If you want to check them out, find them and buy them on Amazon, they are available on there. Uh, so they will be in the show notes if you are interested. Highly recommend, especially those last two um, must-read considerations for myself and anyone who has any interest in developing their physique or transforming their body. So it's not always smooth sailing, like with all the other classes, and there are some challenges and obstacles that might come along the path. Some things you might have to overcome as you level up as a barbarian. So let's talk about what some of those might be. Lack of access to a gym, perhaps. No problem. Barbarians can utilize bodyweight exercises using household items, rucking, thinking like just filling a bag with heavy objects and going for a walk or a hike. There are hundreds of body weight exercises that you can do that will help build your body. And high intensity, high intensity interval training, for example, is often just explosive bouts of energy using body weight exercises and plyometrics and things of that nature that don't require any equipment at all. There are lots of free programs available online for calisthenics and body weight exercises, ways to build strength without any fancy equipment. So that does not have to be an obstacle for you. Um, there, you might find that you are discouraged with slow progress. That is definitely something that I would say at some point, most of us on this journey will have to contend with. Building strength and resilience does take time. Don't get discouraged by slow progress and remember to celebrate small victories like 
mastering a new exercise skill, or adding any amount of weight to your lift. Remember to focus on consistency over quick fixes. There's a great show that I listen to called Mind Pump, and it's a resource I would suggest for anybody who's working on any of our strength training stuff. And one thing that they say on there over and over, which has proven to be very true for me, is that an inferior workout program done consistently over time will always beat a perfect workout program done inconsistently. Consistency is king. Just showing up over and over and doing it, being dedicated even when you're not motivated, is going to reap you more rewards than trying to be perfect or trying to figure out what the absolute best uh, routine is going to be for you. And then you might also have a fear of failure. Doing new things and stepping outside of your comfort zone, these things can be scary. Remember, the barbarian lifestyle is to embrace challenges regardless of the outcome. So even if you stumble, even if something goes wrong, pick yourself up and keep pushing forward. Remember that even in failure, the barbarian learns lessons for the future. And the final thing I would suggest that you focus on is to balance training with your life. If you're trying to make fitness and health a part of your lifestyle and not just a chore, find activities that you enjoy doing, explore things that fit your schedule, and prioritize your well-being. Listen to your body and take rest days when you need. It's also extremely important to understand that strength training and strength building does not actually take as much time as you might think. A lot of people might think that they need to get into the gym, you know, six days a week and spend an hour there. That's simply not true. If you're going to the gym six days a week, then you can get away with doing 15 or 20 minutes of strength training exercises, just a two compound lifts in a day, and that can be enough. Or you can find the same amazing strength gains going just twice a week for like an hour and a half and really focusing on compound lifts that hit multiple bodies in multiple planes of motion, you don't need to spend as much time on strength training as you think. And the beautiful thing about strength training, the barbarian style of functional strength, is it stays around quite a while. I mean, studies have shown that once you have developed strength, the amount of time that you need to dedicate to maintain strength that you have built, you only have to go to the gym about once every 14 days to maintain strength that you have built. But it's also really important to remember that the building process of muscles is the rest period of muscles. Yes, you need to go lift the heavy things, but then the muscles build during the rest period. So if you're trying to push yourself to go every single day, that's not sustainable for the rest of your life probably. What is sustainable? Could you go to the gym for the rest of your life two days a week? That sounds pretty sustainable for most people. So find a good full body split program that's two or three days a week and then give yourself rest, rest period in between to let your muscles grow. Get adequate food and nutrition and water and sleep and let your muscles do what they want to do, which is grow and prepare to adapt. You're going to find that it is amazingly efficient, uh, more so than you probably ever thought possible. I will tell you, just speaking from personal experience, this was a mental shift that I had to make. I was always one of those people who believed that in order to be fit and athletic, I had to spend every day in the gym. So when I would fall off the wagon and not spend time at the gym, I would completely fall off because it, if I didn't have time to go every single day, then I would think, well, I don't have time to be fit. But just in the last couple of years, I adopted the mentality of being consistent just a few times a week is going to be more sustainable over the long run, and it's going to actually work better. And boy, over the last six months, I have built more strength training far less than I ever did when I was going to the gym five, six, seven days a week. It's pretty miraculous. And if you check out the that show that I talked about, or if you check out those books that I talked about, um, you'll find that they break down that process and why it works so well for our bodies. Okay, now let's talk about the three-month plan for leveling up as a barbarian. First month is going to be laying your foundation. So this is going to be developing your physical strength and 
laying the groundwork for resilience and mental fortitude. Now, during this time, you're going to start strength training. I would suggest starting with two days a week, just to uh, do some full body circuits on both days, target all your muscles, and then on your second day, target them with different exercises. Also, during the same week, you'll do some sort of conditioning. Now, I would say if you are new to this, don't go for something like CrossFit or high intensity interval training. Just find an activity that you enjoy doing that will elevate your heart rate and help build a little bit of cardiovascular endurance. Now, strength training is going to build some of that, but adding just one day a week of a little bit heavier cardio, and I don't need, I don't want you to do this for a long period of time, just, you know, 30 minutes. You, this can even just be a brisk walk will help you improve your stamina and your ability to push through physical challenges. And it'll also help improve your strength. And then finally, once a week, start some sort of meditation or mindfulness practice. You can use an app like Headspace or focus just on mindfulness exercises or breath work or visual visualizations. Um, one thing that I often do is as I'm doing my strength training, I have like two to three minutes between weightlifting sets I will just sit and do calm, focused breathing. Then I'm incorporating my meditative practice while I am there in the gym. It also helps me make sure that I'm hitting those rest periods so that my muscles have the best opportunity to build strength. So in our second month, we're going to push our limits a little bit more, um, work, as, work on some progressive overload, gradually increasing the weights that you're lifting and the difficulty of your exercises. Now, you don't have to make your exercises crazier, but even your easier exercises, make them more difficult. What does that mean? Lift the weights slower, focus on your sticking points in the movements, really work on your form. That is so important, but make each movement feel harder, even if it isn't harder. This will continuously challenge your muscles and promote that ongoing growth. Also, at this time, during month two, start working on some more functional fitness. Incorporate some movements like the heavy carry, sandbags or weighted vests are great, some climbing exercises, um, pushing and pulling movements that really develop that real world type of strength. Imagine yourself doing different uh, things that a barbarian might do in your games and think of what ways could I train that sort of strength. Um, and then embrace the elements with your mindfulness during the second month. So get outside and practice your mindfulness outdoors. And that's quite simple. Keep the training volume the same. You don't have to increase it, um, but just work on that form, perfecting your form and building up the weight on the bar. Now, during month three, think about really unleashing that barbarian rage. Now, what does that mean? That means developing like your one rep max, finding out what your maximal strength is for some of the heavy lifts, your deadlift, your overhead press, um, bench press, rows, like find some of the compound lifts and really try and figure out what a PR would be for you and push yourself to try and get there safely and practicing that good form that we've really been working on. This is... This is that barbarian move. It's how much maximal force can they exert when the time comes, when it is necessary. And their intuition says, now is the time that you must apply the deepest levels of strength that you have. Now you have to apply that maximal load. Obviously, don't hurt yourself. I want you to be safe more than anything, but just focus on, on becoming stronger than you ever thought possible. Alternatively, if focusing on like one rep max or uh, maximal strength is maybe not as possible for you or is not something that you want to focus on, then at this time I would focus maybe instead on doing some high intensity interval training or some plyometrics or something that's a little bit more explosive power and gives you that next level of edge, sort of summoning that inner strength uh, mentality. And finally, for the last thing to do for your wisdom in your third month is to reflect on your community and be able to find a way to show respect 
to your tribe, as it were, whether that is just your family or your friends or the community in which you live, really embrace that barbarian mindset. And this can be done in a lot of different ways, but one great way of doing that might be getting somebody else involved in your fitness journey and offering a friend to come work out with you or a few people to come uh, go on walks with you and help others also become more fit and healthier because ultimately it is a way of caring for one another. Obviously don't force anybody, but be that mentor and use your wisdom and your intuition to understand what it might take to help somebody also get more fit and more healthy in their life. This is just a three-month plan. It's just the very beginning of your journey uh, of leveling up as a barbarian. You'll want to continuously develop your physical strength, your mental resilience, and your unwavering spirit to embody those core values of the barbarian and face life's challenges with unwavering determination. Remember, every small step towards a healthier lifestyle and a more resourceful approach to life is a step in the right direction. So push your limits and unleash your inner barbarian. Let your rage fuel your passion. That's all for today. Remember, the path of the barbarian is about constant growth and self-improvement. Keep challenging yourself, embrace the journey, and face the world with courage and determination. Until next time, we'll see you next session.